Well, it sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. So what am I supposed to do? That's up to you. But hey, if you're serious about honey, it should be straight up with Lena. Dear Lena. Oh, you dumped him. No. Well, technically, yes, but nicely. Leonard! So, is this a surprise? Or has Michael told everyone? Told everyone what? I'm back on the team. Permanently. surprised to see me. <laughs> you didn't even phone. Oh, and it was sneaky, I know. But it was worth it just for the look on your lovely face. Oh. Oh. Sweet cakes. I've missed you so much. Is everything all right? You, you, you are glad to see me. Of course. Bellissimo. All I am saying is that Jenny has noticed a this few is things Jenny, about Rachel. Of Nick. According to Jenny, she's been withdrawn, depressed, and her attitude to food is another oh, thing. Oh, God, don't say it. Half the women I know are convinced their daughters are anorexic. Gives them something to talk about at tennis. Yes, but it is a serious problem. Cook, Jenny doesn't give a toss about Rachel's eating habits, which have always been erratic, to say the least. Jenny just doesn't like me. Oh, give me some credit, uh, please. Uh, darling, I understand, Rachel. I was just like her at that age. But she has been very depressed. Well, of course. She's just broken up with a boyfriend. It's almost as bad as acne, but she'll get over it. I still think we should meet later for a coffee or something. All right. And I'm glad to see you taking an interest. But you'll see, Rachel will get a new hobby or a new boy and suddenly all will be sweetness and light again. Yes, well, I hope you're right. But when Jenny says if that she's If you give me Jenny Says one more time, I shall scream. Excuse me, Michael. I think I'll scream anyway. Guess who's here? Leonard. Glad you could make it at such short notice. It's a pleasure, I Leonard, you. this is Alex. Uh, Leonard is replacing Chris Warner. How nice. Look, I'll see if I can arrange something, if you've got the time. Well, you moved in here, Meredith. Um, feels like it. Yeah. Later, eh? Steve. You heard about Carrie? Yeah. Bit of a shock, eh? Mm, I could say that, yeah. I still don't know why I'm surprised, really. She's the type, isn't she? You want the type to get pregnant? Uh, no. You know, to take what? matters into her own hands. Well, she didn't do it all on her own. No. Is it yours? Mm. Well, it could be. The thing is, she won't tell me. But you you did contribute. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not the only one. I know it's just a physical thing, you know, a straight chromosome, but I can't help but feel responsible. Hell, I wish I had an attitude towards it like guys got, you know? It's got such a good perspective on these kind of things. Yeah, I've noticed. I've got to get back. Gina, it can wait. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm just leaving. Steve? Oh, yeah, hi, Kirsty. Honestly, Kirsty, I think. Oh. On my way. Now, what are you going to do? See them alternate days? No. But, I mean, writing a letter's one thing. Telling Leonard face-to-face, -face, it'll break his little heart. And mine. I mean, I just couldn't bear it. The longer you leave it. You've got to do something, and soon. Man, if you could see how down Rachel is. Yeah, well, she'll get over it, mate. Maybe not. She could do something really stupid, like Miles. <laughs> well, look, I don't have time for Rachel-type mind games, all right? It's like the guitarist from Splatterhead, man. I mean, I read about him. Keeps on going from girl to girl. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because he can. No! Because he was abandoned by his father when he was little and now he can't bring himself to trust anyone. Oh, stuff and nonsense. Look, I've got to get back to work. And make sure you tidy up after yourselves. Oh, that might be Daryl. 
Hello? Oh, yes, he is. It's for you. Stephen Devereux. <clears throat> Stephen. Yep. Yeah? When? Yeah, sure, as ready as I'll ever be. OK, I'll see you then. The exhibition's still going ahead. Yeah, Stephen wants me to do some newspaper interviews. And photos? <laughs> Guess so. Far out, man. No wonder you've got psychological hang-ups. You're nearly famous. Rachel. Mum said you wanted to see me. Yeah, should we pop up to my office and wait for her? Not another chat with Mummy and Daddy trying to work out what's best for poor little Rachel. Sweetheart, please. If you've got something to say, say it here. Sweetheart. And stop calling me that. I am not a child. Yes, I know that. I also know you've been very depressed lately. I just want to help. Don't just walk away. Look, remember when I said I'd buy you a car after your exams? And you broke that promise. Well, let's say we buy you one now. That cheer up? I don't want a car. I just want my life back. The life I had before my stupid parents got involved and messed it all up. Kids that age, eh? Guy. Oh, hi. I'm um, bye. I need to talk to you. Well, look, I'm flat out at the moment. Well, when can you take a break? Well, it's hard to say at this stage. Um, Hone, uh, look, I'll catch you later. I've been trying to pin him down all afternoon. Oh, Carrie. Theatre list? Actually, this is something else entirely. I will be needing that maternity leave after all. Not for several months yet, but I wanted to give you fair warning. Another private adoption? No. This time I'm pregnant. Really? You may congratulate me, Michael. Well, of course, congratulations. I take it this wasn't an accident? No. Well, sorry, I just meant... Well, I didn't know you were involved with anyone. I'm not. But it was a planned pregnancy nonetheless. So, am I allowed to know who the father is? Wouldn't have a clue. Please, Michael, you don't want to know the technical details. What do you mean, artificial...? It's not exactly unheard of. Well, it's not the procedure. It's just that, well, don't you believe that a kid needs his father? I'll manage. Let's face it, plenty of married women end up doing it all on their own. Yeah, and they pay the consequences. I wish I'd been there more for my kids when they are growing up. Yes, well, we don't all have to make the same mistakes as you, Michael. I'll bring up my child my way. And I don't give a damn what you or anybody else thinks. Excuse me. Don't say it. Inside, I'm on agitation cycle. I can't talk to Lena. My mouth won't work properly. It's your life. There you go. Isn't it time you sorted things out with Rachel? Nothing to sort out. Oh, I believe you. You've been interviewed in the paper, had your photo taken, the gallery owner wants to make you famous. I can see why you're so down in the dumps. It's nothing to do with Rachel, all right? What, are you going to the exhibition? You could say that. Take a look at the bottom. And Stuart Nielsen. Cursed, I'm just the add-on. Oh, that's OK. I mean, everyone has to start somewhere. And even just to be in the same show as these guys, it's amazing. You think so? Sure. Oh, it's Alison I feel sorry for. I mean, a man like Chris Warren, he was bound to hurt her. Mm. Marge been regaling you with all the gossip. Yes. I'm just filling him in with the news. Well, just remember, there are two sides to every story. Marge's version and the truth. If you say so, Doctor. Oh, I don't believe it. Put away the glasses, hide away your crockery. Jackie, hello. Uh, oh, the room is true. You're back for good. Not bad. <laughs> Great, because I need a doctor on night shift I can push around. Yes, charge nurse Manu. Yeah, don't you forget it. Holy mother of God! What's wrong, Matt? Wrong? There's nothing wrong. I've just had the most extraordinary news. So, um, you are going to be in for dinner? Unless there's a problem. No, no problem. Probably my dinner cooker. Oh, it's OK. I mean, I like cooking. Especially for you, but that's part of the problem. So there is a problem? Oh, no, it's, that's what I like about you. I mean, you're so, you know, in tune. It's Leonard. Yes, I heard he was back. 
But I'll sort it out, I promise. I mean, I know it does make things a bit difficult, but... Oh, look, if you want to invite him over for dinner, I understand. You do? You obviously want to spend some time alone together as well. And look, if you want him to come and stay, that's OK as well. You don't mind? No, it'd be great. Leonard's good value. And don't worry, I know how to make myself scarce. But what about us? I mean, our relationship? Well, it's give and take. That's the secret of a successful, flatting relationship. As long as you do the same for me if the need arises. How come I'm still feeling that there's something wrong? No, no problem. Just shoot me. Kirsty said there was a patient. The only way to get time alone with you was to book. Oh, smart move. Desperate times. So, for... what do you reckon? A quickie on the couch? No, I'd prefer it if you were honest with me. How? Carrie and her pregnancy. Oh. It's not funny. You did donate to the cause, didn't you? Yeah, we talked about it. I told you I had no objection to helping out in principle, but I wouldn't do anything that wouldn't upset you. I know. Which is why I feel so betrayed. Well, how do you think I feel, then? You thinking I'd rush off and do something behind your back? Have you spoken with Carrie? No. Well, good. She'd probably be more offended than I am. I don't know what to think anymore. You never want to see me. You're always making excuses. That's not true. Every time we start to get close, every time I feel that there's something really real there, you're gone. I mean, what would, you, what would you do if I was the one who was pregnant? Is this an announcement? No, it's hypothetical. Or what if something else happened? I had to go away. Would you come too? Are you leaving? No, it's not the point. Then what is? I don't know. I... I just want more from you. I don't blame you for feeling so strung out. You're doing all this overtime. What with not seeing Andrew over the holidays? Yeah, I suppose. Okay. Look, I have to work now. But tonight... Tonight I promise you we'll do something fabulous, OK? Yeah, OK. Rachel's always been able to twist you around her finger. Well, I'm used to her tantrums, but I've never seen her so... depressed. You know, I really think we should reconsider. Let her see Stuart if she uh, wants. I, I don't like appearing inconsistent. Rachel's sure to take advantage of it. Then I'll do the negotiating. I mean, it's just like a business deal. You've got to know what the other party wants. This is one teenage daughter we're talking about, not a consortium. But you agree it's worth a try? Whatever. I can't work tonight. I've made other arrangements. I'm sorry. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Oh, when isn't it important? Coffee, a donut, and the... Leonard, I'm busy. Well, no, no hurry. I feel awful asking you again. But the locum's just phoned in sick and Honey's already gone. Well, what about Leonard? It's hardly fair to dump it on him on his first day. It's not fair to dump it on me either. Honestly, if there was any other way... All right. As long as you organise my next day off to coincide with guys. I'll see what I can do. C can you sit with me for a minute? Sorry, I can't stop. You've barely said two words. Please. I have a confession to make. I need to get something off my chest. Whatever it is, I forgive you. Just let me say. Some nights in Timaru, I used to wake up in a cold sweat. I guess I went a little bit crazy. I, I started to think that you... I almost believed that when I got back, I'd find you in someone else's arms. Can you ever forgive me for doubting you? Of course, Leonard, of course. Oh, Gina, I love you so much. And I love you.
that's right, Deirdre. You could have knocked me down with a feather. Oh, Jenny. Oh, I have to go now. I'll ring you later. I'm sorry, Marge. I can't stop. Oh, Stuart. I am not now. I've got to go see Dr. McKenna. I'm in such a hurry. Just wanted to share my good news with you. Oh, what good news, Marge? Well, remember that Bill Marchant, that crooked accountant that licked off with all our money? Well, he tried to sneak back on the weekend to his daughter's wedding, and they nabbed him, and we're all going to get some of the money back. Well, that's wonderful. You must be over the moon. Yeah, well, I have to pinch myself. Uh, big date tonight? What? Oh, no, no. I'm meeting a friend, and we're going to the theatre. Oh, man friend. No. Um, an old school friend, Mary. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy yourself. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Sorry to keep you waiting, Stuart. Uh, Alex tells me your artwork is coming along very well. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Of course, I had you picked the minute I saw your stuff over at the coffee shop. Right, well, look, I won't beat around the bush. Alex and I have discussed the situation between you and Rachel, and we think that we might have... Well, we might have overreacted to the news of your relationship. But we've broken up. Really? Well, we'd be very happy if you started seeing each other again. You're kidding. No, I could even help you out if you wanted to take her somewhere nice. Dr McKenna... I go out with girls because I want to, okay, not because their parents think it's a good idea. Stuart, wait. Look, I probably went about this all the wrong way, but yeah, I was well, just... Save your breath, huh? It's over. Can I help you? Oh, no. Um, yes. I posted a letter and it was a mistake and I, I posted it from here. You see, I thought I was in love with this man, but I wasn't really, and he wasn't in love with me. And the man I really loved, that's um, my boyfriend Leonard, he was away in Timor, so I thought I should be honest and write him a letter. And I posted it from right here. Well, then the next thing I knew, Leonard was here as well. Well, not right here, but in the clinic. And now I know I don't love the other man and he doesn't love me. I love Leonard. But if I don't get the letter back, it's going to be sent to him and he's going to read it and our whole lives will be over forever. When was this letter posted? Um, um two hours ago, maybe three. Pity. This was cleared half an hour ago. By now, it'll be on its way. Uh, it's not fair, I know, but nights are part of my contract and Jenny virtually begged me to do it. OK, well, it goes with the territory. I'll make it up to you next day off. Anything you want to do. You're on. Well, if you get bored tonight, you can always pop in for a quick coffee. And... <laughs> it's very tempting. Um... But I've got some work to catch up on, and an early night will be wonderful. Mm. Good night, beautiful. Nice. Keep a hold of that one, Meredith. I intend to, Marge. <laughs> Hello. You wanted to see me? Yes, I would have come over, but there was no one to mind the desk. Ah, well, I uh, assume this has got something to do with the house. Yes, as a matter of fact, it has. Now, the thing is that I've come into some unexpected money. It's not a great deal, but it's yeah, enough. Good for you. So uh, I won't be needing to sell. But you already have. Technically, yes. More than that, Marge. Papers have been signed. All that remains is for the new owner to take possession. Yes, but surely you can see I don't need to sell. In fact, I've changed but my mind. But surely you can see that I haven't. Good afternoon. Alex. Well, don't worry, Stuart. I'm not going to bite. In fact, I've come to apologise. I think I did rather overreact when I first heard about you and Rachel. Truce? Yeah, I guess. Good. You do know she's still very keen on you. Yes. But I can't see any reason why you took can. I can see one very good reason, Alex, and that's because I don't want to, all right? Oh, no, don't be difficult, Steve. Difficult? Listen, how do you understand? It's over. And no amount of interfering by you or Dr McKenna is going to change that. Fine, suit yourself. Although I can't say I think very much of your attitude. Oh, God. Don't tell me this exhibition's still going ahead. I suppose you knew all along it was just the support act. A publicity stunt, don't you mean? Well, Stuart, son of the missing Tom. The angry young man who told Holmes to get stuffed. Stephen does like to decorate his exhibitions with something a little different. Art, if that's the right word for what you do, had nothing to do with it. That's not true. Yes, well, of course, you'd know better than I would. Bye, Stuart. 
see you in the morning. Have a good night. Hey, you all right? You look a bit down in the mouth. Well, that's exactly how I feel. I know you think I've gone about things the wrong way, but... Well, I've been holding this inside me for nearly three months, knowing I was pregnant, waiting for the right moment to break the news, and now that I have, everyone's so down on the idea. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a friend, have I? You just told me what you thought. No, I didn't. I wasn't thinking of you. I was thinking of myself. I'm sorry, Carrie. I really am happy for you. And if you still want me, I'd love to be your doctor. Thanks. Bad timing, eh? I get pregnant and then walks Declan. Why can't I have a man and a baby at the same time? Is it too late to try? I don't know. I've done a good job of elbowing him out the way. <laughs> Neat trick, eh? If you're afraid of rejection, get in first. Hey, you're talking to the world champion when it comes to fear of rejection. Not to mention fear of commitment, fear of looking foolish, paranoid, you name it, I've got it. Still, you and Guy seem to be doing all right. That's what I mean. If I can get over all those hurdles, so can you. Believe me, it's worth it. Zealand on air.